All right, so this is the first tutorial in our series on how to make historical video games using Twine. So this is a great place to start if you've never heard of Twine before, you've never used it, maybe you've never tried to make a video game before in your life, this is a great place for you to start. If you have a more specific question, um, I definitely recommend checking out the tutorial playlist that this video is a part of because you might be able to find a more specific answer to your question there. Um, but if you're new around here, um, this is the place for you. So let's get started. Um, the first major question is just what is Twine? Um, so Twine, so you can find it on twinery.org. And Twine is an open source tool for telling interactive nonlinear stories. So, so what does that mean? Um, it means basically that Twine is a tool for stories that aren't just one event happens, then the next event happens, then the next event happens, just like you would read in a book or in a movie or something like that. A nonlinear story is a story that branches. It's a story where you as the player can make decisions and based on your decision, the story is gonna go down a new path. So we'll get into that in a little bit more detail in the next video. Um, but for now, here's how you would download Twine. So basically you would go to twinery.org. Um, you could use it online or you can go here to this download section. And if you're on a Windows computer, you click this link. Um, if you're on a Mac, you click this link. I'm on a Mac, so I'm gonna go down here and basically it just downloads the DMG to um, put Twine on my computer. And so I would just drag Twine to my applications folder and that would get it on my computer. Um, this is not the same process for using it on a Windows computer. You would click the Windows link and then there would be the, the Twine executable file. So once you have it all downloaded on your computer, um, you can open it up. I already have it downloaded on mine, so I'm just gonna open it and show you what it looks like. Um, so this is what the interface looks like. This should be the first thing that pops up when you open up Twine. You are not going to have any stories on yours. Um, I've been using Twine for a while, so I've already written several stories using Twine. I've used it for lots of different things, so um, I have a lot of individual stories. I have 10 of them. Um, so you won't have any, but uh, the interface is pretty simple. So all of your stories would be here in your library. This is like the main page that you go to. Um, you can sort by name, you can sort by when what was most recently edited, um, so you can do that. And then there's some stuff over here on this right sidebar. Um, and then obviously this big, very obvious green button here to create a new story. So if you click on that, we can start our first story. So let's just call this um, my first story. And then obviously you would have a different name and you'd have a cooler story, but this is just an example. Um, and pretty much any tutorial you watch is going to do this. So this is what it looks like when you're writing a story. So there's basically just like one little square here that you can click on. There's some stuff down here at the bottom, but, um, okay, let's just read what this says. It says untitled passage, double click this passage to edit it. Okay. So I'll double click it. Great. Okay. So this opens up a page in our story and we can title it. Um, we can click to edit it. And basically that's how we write our story. So I'm going to cover this a little bit more in the next video, but I want to go back to twinery.org right now just to show you other resources that are available to you. So hopefully this tutorial series will cover everything that you need to know, but if you need additional resources with a more specific question that maybe we don't cover, um, some great resources for you, especially in help with code, um, are going to be here on the twinery.org website. So this is all of the documentation for Twine, um, and if you don't know what that means, don't worry about it. There are discussion boards and a Discord channel for you to chat with other people who are using Twine. Um, and then honestly, like you can always Google things that you don't know how to do. So um, maybe I wanna know how to make an if statement in Twine. And honestly, like a lot of resources do come up. Yeah, so if, if something isn't covered in this tutorial series, definitely give it a Google and see if that helps. But otherwise, in the next video, we're going to go back uh, and make our first story.